Um, before we get into the kind of the meat of this, tell, tell our listeners a little bit more about Peter Lee. Yeah, well, I yeah, thank you, you guys. Um, well, let's see. I was uh, 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 practically born and raised in Southern California. That's mm-hmm. really the only home I I have known uh, um, almost my entire life. I, mm-hmm. I went to all of my education was there. Mm-hmm. Um, we went to high, high school, school, although it was years apart. We went to high school like five miles away from each other. That oh, yeah, that's right. So I went to Irvine High School, went to UC Irvine for college. Uh-huh. Um, in uh, although uh, I was born and raised more or less in the context of a church, uh, this is the ethnic Korean church where mm-hmm. uh, most of the uh, instruction was done in Korean. Huh. Uh, I didn't know Korean. I still don't know Korean. Oh, interesting. So I'm sure they were preaching the gospel, <laughs> but I didn't <laughs> understand it. <laughs> you just weren't sure. So uh, for that reason, my church experience growing up was a, was a bit. Um, rebellious i guess you could say i i yep. didn't enjoy it. it it was sort of a drag same here uh when i was in high school the lord brought a a very gracious loving uh youth pastor who actually spoke english and <laughs> for the good. very first time in my life i actually understood the gospel huh. uh and then uh life was just radically different from that moment uh moment forward somewhere maybe towards the um end of my junior year into my fr- senior year of high school is where um the the message of of the love of god for a sinner like me really hit home mm. and uh is where um i was i i turned to christ embraced him by faith for the first time at least that i could be conscious of sure. and my life changed radically mm. now church became my most favorite place to be 